hey guys welcome back to my channel okay this is part two so the first one if you want you can go back to the first one and go check out my five tips to like be a content creator okay um these are like tips that i follow to this day and it's helped me so much to grow as a content creator so go back to that video on my playlist but i wanted to talk about like how i awakened um initially when it happened in 2017 and my son my son was three years old and i was single single mom and coven was still crazy at that time so it was just like you know it was a perfect time i think and um you know my background faith is catholic i'm catholic i was i went to private school all my life up to high school so i have a religious background and my family is pretty religious you know we used to go to church every sunday and do all those things that christians do but in 2019 um, yeah, so after 2017, when I had my spiritual awakening and I had my kundalini, um, it was a real bugged out time for me. Things was really bad for me mentally. I really thought I was losing my mind, but there was a time when I was like calling for God and like longing for him. And it's like, I had this awakening out of the blue. It was like sleeping beauty. I basically woke up out of a deep slumber. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. But um I learned so much on YouTube. Like YouTube was like therapy for me. And I um basically found tarot on YouTube 2019. I went and purchased my first tarot deck and I started doing divination. That's when I really got crazy. But I was more in the closet at that time. I was really like, I'm more vocal about it now. But before, I was afraid to use tarot. I, you know, was raised to think that, you know, we only see those things in movies. Like, tarot is real? Really? People do that? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I'm from New York. I don't know nothing about no damn tarot so i gradually picked it up you know i for a long time i was afraid of it i was just afraid of what i would find in those cards reading energy i never knew nothing about that my fears on spirituality was clashing with my religious upbringings not only that what my family thing yeah, I was I was a closet witch. I think we all started as a closet witch. We all hide at first that we're using tarot and it's it's not a bad thing. I don't think so. I was feel I felt like intuitively guided to pick up I actually went to the 99 cent store and bought a pack of cards. Regular playing cards. Not that fancy stuff you buying online. Regular playing cards. That's how I learned. And I learned that by myself. I went and I was like, okay, this is this is crazy. What is this? So like 2020, I was I just like started doing my like healing and stuff. And I had made a decision to blog on online and I was with on um, WordPress. Let me know if you're on WordPress, if you blob on WordPress or whatever. But blobbing was therapy for me journaling was therapy for me and um you know it all i could express all my feelings and expectations and everything i went through up to that point in blobbing and it was therapeutic for me so i suggest that a lot of people should write down their feelings their experiences Write down your dreams. Write down every freaking thing. It all makes sense in the end. I have so many journals of books, of writings that I've done. But, um, yeah. 
and we talked about purging and healing, and that's the number one thing that spirituality teaches you. And then I started my holistic brand. Hold on, guys. So in 2020, I decided, like, I was going to start a holistic brand. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm working from home, literally. I still wasn't working.